Good morning to all. I am Saumya, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Bharatiya Arts and Science College for Women, Devya Kurchi. Today we discuss about the topic binomial series, exponential series, logarithm series in classical algebra. First of all, we see the definition of binomial series. The definition is 1 minus x whole power minus p by q is equal to 1 plus p by 1 factorial x by q plus p into p plus q divided by 2 factorial x by q whole square plus p into p plus q p plus 2q divided by 3 factorial into x by q whole cube up to etc. Here x is an open interval from minus 1 x is less than plus 1 and p and q is a rational numbers. Now see the problem for this uh, binomial series, find the sum to infinity of the series 1 plus 2 divided by 6 plus 2 dot 5 divided by 6 dot 12 plus 2 dot 5 dot 8 divided by 6 dot 12 dot 18 up to infinity. Now see the solution for this problem, solution. Now we take the equation, let us s is equal to, s is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 6 plus 2 dot 5 divided by 6 dot 12 plus 2 dot 5 dot 8 divided by 6 dot 12 dot 18 up to infinity. Now this equation written like this binomial series formula we may write s is equal to 1 plus 2 by 1 factorial into 1 by 6 whole power 1 plus 2 dot 5 divided by 2 factorial 1 by 6 whole square plus 2 dot 5 dot 8 divided by 3 factorial 1 by 6 whole cube up to infinity. Now we mark the equation number 1 and the binomial series equation as equation number 2. Now comparing equation 1 and 2, comparing equation 1 and 2. Here s is equal to s is equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. We may write 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. Now compare this first equation and second equation. Here p is equal to 2 and p plus q is equal to 5 and see the x by q is equal to 1 by 6. Now we compare these two equations, we may write p is equal to 2 and p plus q is equal to 5. Substitute p values in, in this equation, 2 plus q is equal to 5, q is equal to 3. And then x by q is equal to 6. We already know that the q value is 3, we substitute q value 3 is equal to 1 by 6. So x is equal to 3 by 6, so x is equal to 1 by 2. Now we see this equation s is equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. Now we already know that x value and p and q. Now we substitute those values in s is equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q equation. Now substitute the equation 1 minus 1 by 2 whole power minus 2 by 3. We may write 2 minus 1 divided by 2 whole power minus 2 by 3 and we may write 1 by 2 whole power minus 2 by 3. Now we write this term like 1 divided by 1 by 2 whole power 2 by 3. Now we get reciprocal 2 power 2 by 3, 4 power 1 by 3. Here s is equal to 4 power 1 by 3. The solution of this problem is s is equal to 4 power 1 by 3. Hence proved. Now we say the second topic exponential series. Exponential series definition is e power x is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 factorial plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. And e power minus x formula is 1 minus x divided by 1 factorial plus x square divided by 2 factorial minus x cube divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x power 4 divided by 4 factorial up to infinity. 
quantity and e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 is equal to x plus x cube divided by 3 factorial plus x power 5 divided by 5 factorial up to infinity. Here uh, same x is an open set of minus 1 is less than x less than 1. Now see the problem for this exponential series. The problem is find the sum to infinity of the series 1 plus 1 plus 2 divided by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. Now we see the solution of this problem. Now take this equation let denoted as s. Let s is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 divided by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. Now we write the nth term of the series. The nth term is now the nth term is denoted by tn. Uh, tn is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 square up to last term is 2 power n minus 1 divided by n factorial. At the similar nth term is written as tn is equal to 2 power n minus 1 divided by n factorial. Now split this term we get 2 power n divided by n factorial minus 1 divided by n factorial. So the nth term of this given equation is tn is equal to 2 power n divided by n factorial minus 1 divided by n factorial. Now we apply the induction method for this nth series tn is equal to 2 power n divided by n factorial minus 1 divided by n factorial. Now apply n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to etc. We get we get t1 is equal to 2 power 1 divided by 1 factorial minus 1 divided by 1 factorial which implies t1 value is 2 divided by 1 factorial minus 1 and then now apply n is equal to 2 so second series is 2 power 2 divided by 2 factorial minus 1 divided by 2 factorial which implies 2 square divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial now we write third term of the series t3 is equal to 2 power 3 divided by 3 factorial minus 1 divided by 3 factorial up to etc. Now we take only 3 series for this equation. Now we write infinity of the sum s infinity is equal to t1 plus t2 plus t3 up to infinity. Now we find here t1, t2, t3. Now we apply these values in this equation. t1 value is 2 divided by 1 factorial minus 1 divided by 1 factorial plus t2 value is 2 square divided by 2 factorial minus 1 divided by 2 factorial plus t3 value is 2 cube divided by 3 factorial minus 1 divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. We may write this equation like 2 by 1 factorial 2 square divided by 2 factorial and 2 cube divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. Now we see the remaining terms 1 divided by 1 factorial, 1 divided by 2 factorial and 1 divided by 3 factorial. We may write in the next set 1 divided by 1 factorial plus 1 divided by 2 factorial plus 1 divided by 3 factorial up to infinity. Now we apply the exponential series formula for this term. We may write e square minus 1 and minus e minus 1. Now we multiply minus into the second set e square minus 1 minus e plus 1. Now we cancel this term e square minus e. Now common term e will be taken. So we get e of e minus 1. Now infinity of the series is s infinity is equal to e of e minus 1. Hence proved. Now we discuss about the logarithm series. 
Now the definition for logarithm series is log of 1 plus x is equal to x minus x squared divided by 2 plus x cubed divided by 3 up to infinity and log of 1 minus x is equal to x minus x squared divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 3 up to infinity and log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to 2 of x plus x cubed divided by 3 plus x power 5 divided by 5 up to infinity. Now see the problem for this logarithm series. Problem is prove that log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1 is equal to 2n divided by n square plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 of 2n divided by n square plus 1 whole cube plus 1 divided by 5 of 2n divided by n square plus 1 up whole power 5 up to infinity. Now you see the solution for this problem. Solution here uh, this problem is a prove that problem. Now we take LHS. LHS is 2n divided by n squared plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 of 2n divided by n squared plus 1 whole cube plus 1 by 5 of 2n divided by n squared plus 1 whole power 5 up to infinity. Now we prove the RHS of this equation. RHS is log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now the 2n divided by n square plus 1 is the common term for this uh, LHS. So we take put x is equal to 2n divided by n square plus 1. Now we replace 2n divided by n square plus 1 as x. Now we write x plus 1 by 3 x cube plus 1 by 5 x power 5 up to infinity. Now we compare this equation in definition of logarithm series log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to 2 of x plus x is cubed divided by 3 plus x power 5 divided by 5 up to infinity. Now we replace this term like log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x into 1 by 2. Now we write 1 by 2 of log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Now we substitute the x term in this equation we get 1 by 2 of log of 1 plus x value is 2n divided by n square plus 1. Now we substitute 1 plus 2n divided by n square plus 1 1 minus 2n divided by n square plus 1 1 by 2 log of now we cross multiply this numerator and denominator we get n square plus 1 plus 2n whole divided by n square plus 1 and n square plus 1 minus 2n whole divided by n square plus 1. Now we cancel this n square plus 1 on both terms n square plus 1 cancel. Now we get 1 by 2 log of n square plus 1 plus 2n divided by n square plus 1 minus 2n. Now we like uh, this uh, n square plus 1 plus n square plus 1 plus 2n likes a plus b whole square form a. So we now write 2 by 2 log of n plus 1 whole square divided by it looks like a, a minus b whole square formula. So n minus 1 whole square. So we write 1 by 2 log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1 whole square. We already know that log a power b is equal to a into log b. So we write 2 divided by 2 log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. So we get log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now we see the problem RHS is n log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now we get the solution is log of n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now we prove the problem. I hope you are all understood this section. Thank you all.